Okay, welcome to part six. Now, um, here's an interesting thing. Currently, there are 920,000 Polish people living in the United Kingdom. Uh, currently, they're allowed to be there. Let's imagine they're not allowed to be there without visas. And let's imagine that many of them don't get visas. There's another country that they'd be very welcome to come to, and that's the Republic of Ireland. We have an agreement with the other 27 nation states to welcome everybody from the European Union, and we do, as indeed they welcome us. Now, where are we going to house them? And where are the jobs going to come from? You see, again, this is going to put us under further pressure on the Brexit scenario. Given UK-based, look at Unilever and Procter and Gamble. Um, these are big television advertisers here, for instance. Um, now, they make decisions on their Irish marketing budgets out of London. Do you think that might change and their focus might change if there is a Brexit? I think it probably will. So, will companies like Channel 4 and Sky, which is estimated to control more than 20% of the Irish television advertising market, need to obtain a local licence to pursue advertising sales business here after Brexit? because they're based in London. Um, will London-based broadcasters target audiences in other European markets after they relocate to the Republic? AstraZeneca, one of Britain's two major pharma groups and others, have warned that a post-Brexit Britain will be a less attractive place for big pharma. Again, Ireland is brilliantly placed to take big pharma, but again, we have the same problem. We've nowhere to put the new workers that will be needed. We don't have enough roofs. Everything comes back to the situation we now find ourselves in, which is a negative house building program. There's a part seven to this. <laughs> He's a fish.